cell, harming more cells in the process and leading to a dangerous, cycle, dangerous cycle of infection. COVID-19 targets the respiratory system and can lead to a permanent decrease in lung capacity. Now let's talk about Folding at Home, the parent organization of Folding at Silicon Valley. The organization has protein folding software developed by Stanford researchers, which utilizes principles of distributed computing. This essentially makes it the world's most powerful supercomputer as it relies on volunteer computers to perform operations. Each of these computers will be given small snapshots of a protein called a work unit and will perform certain operations and return results to a database. These simulations assist researchers in finding binding sites for protein inhibiting drugs like antivirals and chemotherapy medication. This process has led to many breakthroughs in research on cancer, Alzheimer's, Parkinson, and more. For those of you who are unfamiliar with protein folding, here's some pertinent information. Uh, protein can be thousands of atoms long. So studying their interactions is quite difficult. As a result, researchers have turned to computerized folding as a solution. Um, folding refers to the way human proteins fold into cells and make up your body. And so we rely on these proteins to keep us healthy as they assemble themselves by folding. But when they misfold, there can be serious consequences to a person's health. The goal of scientists is to prevent this from happening by studying protein interactions. So this is where distributed computing comes in. Initially, a protein folding project is identified by researchers. However, this project is simply far too large to be, um, to be for a single computer. So it's split into many smaller work units. Thousands of volunteer computers will work on these work units and return the results. They'll be compiled into a database to form the overall simulation, which can be used for research purposes. Now you might ask the question, why should I start folding? For starters, you can help to accelerate research progress towards finding a COVID-19 cure, which is I'm assuming a very positive, a very good, very large positive as I don't think anyone here really enjoys being quarantined. Each day of progress can help save tens of thousands of lives. And in addition, it requires almost no effort to start folding. And it's compatible on most operating systems, including Linux, Windows, and Mac. And finally, the biggest plus is probably that you can join this profound and growing movement in biological research. So how do you start folding? First, Download and install the Folding at Home software from foldingathome.org. There, you'll be prompted to create a profile and passkey under the change identity uh, portion of the website. You can join Team 251691, which is the ID for uh, Team Silicon Valley, Folding at Silicon Valley. You can find more information at our website, Folding at Silicon Valley. And in case you need it, which I doubt any of you will, there, there is a configuration guide that you can use to for debugging issues. So once you download the application, you should see this screen along with running highlighted in the folding slot section and the work queue section. Once these two are present, you're good to go and you can let the computer fold while you attend to other tasks. It's really just that simple. There are even leaderboards for uh, those who have the most work units. So it's sort of a fun way to help the COVID-19 situation. Now I'm sure a lot of you might have security concerns as you're running software from the internet. To assure you, I have the following points. For starters, the project has been running for nearly 20 years. So any bugs would have been taken care of by then. In addition, Folding at Home is an academic driven project. So they have no need to manipulate your computer for other purposes. And I quote from their website, we only interact with folding at home files on your computer. We do not read, write, or transmit any other files as we do not need to, and doing so would violate our privacy policy. In the application, there are also multiple levels of password protection. So third parties cannot interfere with the computer. If you're interested, more information can be found at the website listed here. Let's also talk about internet and power consumption. 
the estimated power cost is only $1.50 per year. So it's really cheap. In addition, the program, the program only works on CPU idle time, which means that whenever your computer is not doing anything computationally intensive, this program will kick in. There's also negligible internet usage, five to 10 kilobits per second, as most of the computation is done locally. In fact, the only time it needs the internet is to periodically sync information with servers every six to eight hours. So during that window of six to eight hours, no internet usage is really needed. Once again, more so, information. Uh, uh, oh, oh yeah. sorry. Um, so, so, the, so this $1.50 per year is super cheap for, for laptops, uh, but for powerful desktops, it, it, may, it may cost more. Um, also, the, this program is configured to work on CPU idle time, and for laptops, it'll automatically pause when on battery power. But if you want to uh, do folding all the time to genuinely help the cause, uh, you, 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 can, you, you can configure it to fold it uh, as long as it's on. And that's all I have to say. Okay. So this project is more than just folding, uh, protein folding. You can help become an advocate, spread awareness in your school and community, and even apply for leadership positions at Folding at Silicon Valley. You can help the fight against COVID-19 for the price of a few extra dollars in your power bill. Fold for Team Silicon Valley. Join us at Team 251691. Thanks for joining. So now we'll begin the Q&A section of the Zoom session. So what exactly are we doing when we are folding? When, when you're using the term folding, what's happening? I mean, when the computer's running the program, what exactly is happening? So, so, so what, what you'll be doing is, is like you can do other things on the computer, like Google Docs, watching YouTube. Meanwhile, the, the, the computer will be, doing a, uh, will be doing an atom level simulation of, of a given protein. Uh, right now, it's uh, by default, it's set to fold coronavirus proteins. So, um, so in the controller, you, I mean, it does come with a, uh, with a project number. That shows exactly what protein you're folding and what it and what it's useful for. So, uh, so the computer is in the background running a program which is sequencing the COVID nine, well, the COVID nineteen virus. Is that what's going on? Um, it's it's not sequencing it uh, mm -hmm. since the genome has has um, already been created. It's it's essentially. Um, it's essentially analyzing a protein and how it'll interact with other proteins. Um, it, it gives you a project description, uh, like, like for example, the, the one I'm holding is project one one seven five two. So, 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 um, so if you Google it up, uh, uh, wait, it's already being shared up. Uh, so, so, um, it's uh, I'm researching. A, a COVID-19 receptor binding with a human with a human receptor. Okay, and so we're going to be uh, basically what the program is running is going to be looking at several just different receptors on the COVID-19 surface with regards to a human receptor. As, as as well as, as well as many other proteins. It's it's not just a single uh, thing. Okay. Do you ever get to see the outcome of what's happening on your computer? I mean, at a at an uh, intellectual level, what is what is a what's your contribution other than your computer running this program behind the scenes? So, um, folding at home uh, periodic, periodically publishes um, all results of of like what people have folded so far. On, on their website, and over 223 articles have been published as of now due to folding at home. And do we have access to, do, if you're part of the team, do you have access to these articles? Um, I, I would believe that, that, that there would be a way to find them on, on the official website, but, but uh, I'm, I am currently not well informed on where to find these articles. 
Thank you. And uh, I have a question here, like uh, anybody can join from anywhere or uh, it's only related to the, the Silicon Valley or, uh, you know, uh, what, what is the age group you are looking for, like to join this coding? Wait, sorry? No, what, is there any specific age group or anybody can join? Um, uh, basically, uh, it doesn't really matter as long as you have a uh, as long as you have a Windows, Mac, or Linux computer, you can absolutely join Folding at home. In fact, um, it's even it's even been ported to Android and PlayStation Three. So, um, yeah. Okay, uh, it seems so there's like not a lot of questions going on right now. I'll answer some of the questions people have put on the Google form. Uh, let me pull those up. So someone asks, you mentioned that there is a Monta Vista high school branch for uh, bowling at Silicon Valley. Is there a club at the school? Um, as the, at at the moment, there's no club at the school. It's just that uh, I'm just representing Monta Vista High School and just advertising to students there. Um, another question is, what will we be doing as a part of bowling at Silicon Valley? Will we learn how to code? Uh, unfortunately, this program isn't designed to teach students how to code. It's just if you're interested in learn, uh, participating in a computation project, a uh, biological computation project, where for just protein folding. So no, there's no actual coding involved. Uh, what programming is used for in disease research? Uh, as I said, there's not really any programming on our part. We're just folding and running the software. And if you're interested in researching like how exactly the proteins work or if there are any other tasks that you can do, I'm sure there is information on the website. Uh, I would like to know what do we need to do and how much time, uh, I would like to know what we need to do and how much time is going to be spent. Uh, as I mentioned in the presentation, you can download the software and run it for however long you want. And the time is really up to you. Yeah, I do we can hear some background noise. Can can someone who does not want to speak mute the phone? Please? Hello? Uh. Um, excuse me? Um, this I was, um, what was the presentation about? Uh, our presentation was about, uh, the protein folding project, uh, folding at home. I think Ethan listed some slides in the chat, so you can check those out if you missed it. I have the request access though. Uh, sorry, could you repeat that? I didn't hear. I have to request access to see the slide. Oh, um, so, uh, so, 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 off and off. Uh, uh, could you please change the sharing settings so that anyone with, with a link can view it? Uh, yeah. account. I think people are. Okay. Uh, right so. Well, that, that'll be fixed shortly. I think it's already, it was already there. there I mean, I, 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 maybe not, but people are joining right now. Back. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, excuse me, I have a question. 
Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, you can't select that account for it. Do you oh. not understand? Oh. It's not an available option for an account. Uh, You're going to let anyone view it. You can't just try to brute force your way in. Uh, if you if you have a problem, could you uh, type it in the chat really quickly? Like that's a technical problem, not really related to the project. Uh, I just tried uh, it. Before. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. If you're not speaking uh, directly to the person answering the questions, can you please mute your phone, please? Thank you. Thanks. Uh, so, what was the question? Um, how much time does it take to uh, fold one protein? Uh, it's uh, around, it usually takes around uh, several hours to, uh, to complete, regardless of your system's computing power, because uh, more powerful systems will, will, get will get larger work units that take the same amount of time to fold. Thank you. Also, uh, uh, one more thing, we, we have a Google site. So, so allow me to, to share the link. Uh, basically, it, it, shows, it shows why, why we fold. It's got, it's got uh, stats and a leaderboard. Also, it has a really nice FAQ section that will help you uh, get started. Yeah, we cannot see the, the, the website. Can you share the screen? Um, all right, allow me to, allow me to do that. Um, where's the, where's the share screen? Oh, oh, here it is. Okay. So, um, so, so this is uh, our Google site. Um, it's, um, it, it's really useful if you want to start fooling. So it shows what uh, we have. Why folding is important. It has a, a, a leaderboard um, as well as a as well as uh, our progress. Um, we have our leadership team here, a, a guide on how to get started here, an application form, as as well as an FAQ uh, for for troubleshooting and for any questions you might have. Okay, yeah, are there any other questions? Uh, can you show them the, uh, the slide how they can join, join the team? Sure. Sure, um, let me just share my screen. So, uh, so, um, if you want to join, then then you'd go to how to start. Um, uh, fill out this form. Uh, so once you're done filling out this form, back in how to start, you would install folding at home by by going to start folding now, then clicking downloading now. Then you would uh then you would download and install it. Then so so once it's successfully installed. Uh, the most important part is for is to uh, join our team and make an account since it'll get you more points. Uh, so once it's successfully installed, it'll automatically open a window that, that, that'll show the web controller. It's the URL is client.foldinghome.org, um, and it'll uh, connect to the client on your PC. So so it's got a project number and a description here. But what you'll want to do is click change identity 
um, then click uh, get a passkey. Uh, put in the username you want to use, then your email. Uh, then when you check your email, it, it'll send you uh, your folding at home passkey. Uh, uh, then just put in your username here, your passkey here, then put in our team number of 251691. Uh, then after hitting save, you'll, you'll, you'll start folding for us. Uh, Ethan, can you share uh, the current the, your team's rank? Um, so currently, our uh, team rank can be checked at stats.foldingathome.org uh, at team 251691. So uh, our team ranking is 5677 out of 250, uh, out of 250,000 uh, people. So that's, that's in the top 2.5% of all teams. So you, if you have the multi members, the rank should be also higher, right? Um, if if you have more team mem uh, members, that uh, they'll they'll like like the more points you have, and and the more work units that you get, the higher your rank will become. So if the in individual has an individual rank, um, th th there. Correct. There, there are individual ranks, but um, so so you can also track that. But what matters is is the overall rank, which is which is the entry title grand score right here. So we have eight point almost eight point nine million points. Can you answer the question for the on the chat? Uh, yeah, I'm I'm doing that right now. Um, hold on, the, there's quite a bit of backlog. Um, Maybe just answer the last uh, the question. So Abhinava and Ethan, can you see the questions? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, Daniel, it doesn't really make the computer lag because I said again, it runs on CPU idle time. So that means that when it's not really doing anything, that's when the program actually kicks in. So you can do your normal stuff while this runs in the background. I have a question. How is uh, folding related to like uh, stopping COVID nineteen? Uh, yeah. So Ethan, you can, yeah, you don't type your answers. You just, uh, yeah, talk to answer the question. Oh. And uh, repeat the, oh, yeah, yeah, me, yeah, speak out for uh, the question first and then you answer the question. Okay. Uh, I have a question. Yes. How is folding related to COVID-19, like stopping COVID-19? Well, well uh, basically, the, the, the entire COVID-19 virus is made out of proteins, um, each of which that serves a very important function in, in infecting new cells and other individuals. 
So, so, so by folding, um, not, not, not only does it provide a deeper insight to researchers on, uh, on how, on how a particular protein interacts with other proteins, it also, um, it also provides uh, new binding sites that, that uh, for, for uh, protein targeted drug research. Okay, um, yeah. uh, so, so, so Andrew, I'm not uh, particularly sure. Uh, oh, oh, wait, yeah, the, uh, the, the question. So Andrew asked, do you guys know by any chance what algorithm is used? Um, currently, I'm, I'm not too well informed of that since the algorithm does change over time and, and they're always making uh, consistent updates and improvements, but but if, but if you go to but if you go here, they do have a detailed description of how the current folding at home client works. Um, all right. So so Katie asked, what can we learn from this project other than than running the the program? So uh, so. Katie, uh, in in the folding at home clients, the, the, there is there is a project number as well as a project uh, description. If you if you click on the if you click if you click on the link, then uh, hold on, let me share my screen. So 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 if you click on the, uh, this link, it, it'll it'll provide a a detailed um, a detailed uh, explanation um, of of what you're folding. Um, so Jolly asked, uh, how do we uh, get to see updates of, of what is happening in the group? Is there a group containing all, all the members? Ah, yes, so this is pretty important. So uh, so once you fill out the application form, I, I will use that email to uh, to invite you to uh, a Google group, um, which, so and then after you join, uh, uh, you'll basically start getting a regular daily notifications from us uh, that, that regard our progress. So, um, and uh, uh, sorry, and if you want to know the status of the products you folded for, if you go to um, if you go to the official Folding at Home website, they uh, they regularly release updates um, about like the folding progress. So actually, the, the the oh yes, you you can absolutely run it on on multiple computers. Um, in, in fact, this has become a small problem for some users on um on um, for folding at home since they're so eager to start folding that that they run it on on the school computers, which is probably not allowed. So so but but my point is yes, you can absolutely run it on multiple computers and. And your points will be pulled uh, like that. Um, also, uh, here's Folding at Home's latest update. Um, uh, like, th that's a summary of the folding progress that has occurred recently. It's in the chat. Then, then, then here's another link that uh, that shows like the action of a particularly important uh, protein of COVID-19 that allows entry into the host cell. It's also, the, the URL is also in the chat.
Yeah, if no more questions, we can end uh, today's meeting. And uh, later on, if you have any other questions, you still can email us, email to Adinava or email to Ethan. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. So, so, so thank you all so much for, for joining today. Um, I, I hope you enjoyed our presentation, and I sincerely hope you'll consider joining Fold Against Silicon Valley. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.